What is going on guys? Welcome back to a new video on how to pass data from one fragment to another fragment or how two fragments can communicate with each other. And often you might build an app that has two fragments and in one of your fragments, you want to set some data and you want to pass it to a different fragment. And according to Android's documentation, two fragments should never communicate directly. And that means you cannot pass data from fragment A to B directly. So to do that is really easy. All you need to do is to create a communicator interface and implement that communication interface in main activity and once you implemented the interface the main activity will require you to implement a communicator function the function that you defined in the interface and once you do that in main activity this is where you will swap the fragments and where you will have access to the data that is stored in the interface so you will send the data with a key name to fragment B and in fragment B you will receive the data with the key name that you set in main activity and if this looks a bit complicated to you do not worry I will show you what I mean. So this is fragment A and this is what we will set the data and send the data to a different fragment. So in that instance, we will write hello world. Once I click send, the data will be stored to the function that exists in the interface and we will set it a key name and send it back to a fragment B and then we will display the information. So if I click send, as you can see, we will got redirected to a different fragment and we display the text that were sent from fragment A. So without further ado, let's get start coding. So first you need to create a new project, go to file and then new and then click on new project, click on empty activity, then next, name your project and then pick Kotlin and click on finish. So once you created your project, now we need to create two fragments, but before that we need to create a package so that we put all the fragments that you have. So right click on this and then click on new and then click on package and then name your package. So fragments, click on OK. And then once you have the package, you can create your two fragments, which is fragment A and B. Right click on that, click on new, and then click on blank fragment. So fragment A, and then unclick that and click on finish. And create your second fragment as well. Click on fragment and then blank fragment, and then name your fragment and click this and click on finish. So now once you have your two fragments, we need to build the UI for the two fragments, go to resources and then layout and then fragment A. So just hide this for a moment and then click on split screen so that we play with the coding here. So first you need to change this frame layout to constraint layout. So constraint layout and then remove this. So now you have an empty layout. In our fragment A, we will have an edit text here and then we will have a button to send the data. So let's create, um, um, edit text and then wrap content and then wrap content as well. Do not forget to provide an ID to it. So the ID will be message input and let's have a margin start of 25 dp and then margin end and let's have an emails of 10 and then we will set some constraints to it. So constraints top to the top of parent and then constrain left to the left of parent as well and constraints right to the right of parent as well and then constraints bottom to the bottom of parent as well so that we will align it in the center. And we, now we need to create a button. So the button would be wrap content and then wrap content as well. And do not forget to provide an ID for it. So we will set it to send BTN and then we will have a margin top of 25 dp and then we will set a text to it. So send, and then we will add some constraints to it so that we push it from here to there. So constraint top to the bottom of the message input. And now we will have constraint bottom to the bottom of parent and constraint right to the right of parent and then constraints left to the left of parent as well. And this is it. So now we need to go to fragment B and in fragment B split the screen so that we play with the code and change this to constraint layout and remove this for a moment. All right, so all we need to do in fragment B is to have a text view so that we will display that received text. So text view and then wrap content and wrap content here as well and provide an ID to it and that's display message. And for now we will set a text of test so that we can see the result here and change the text size 26 SP and center the text to the middle of the layout. So constraint top to the top of parent and then constraint bottom to the bottom of parent and then constraint left to the left of parent and then constraint right to the right of parent as well. And once you have done that, this is it. 
the last thing with the UI, you need to go to main activity.xml. And this is where we will set a container for our fragments. So split screen. And here, remove this for a moment and change this to a frame layout. Just go with match parent and then match parent and then provide an ID to it. This is really important. So we will call it fragment container and then set some constraints to it. So constraint top to the top of parent and then constraint bottom to the bottom parent and then constraint right to the right of parent and then constraint left to the left of parent. So once you have done that, this is it. And now you need to go to mainactivity.kotlin and this is where we will load our first fragment as a default. So go to main activity and main activity, go to on create method. So in on create method, um, create a variable of uh, fragment um, a and then equal that to fragment A and then this is a constructor and now you need to set our uh, fragment A to the container that we just set in main activity.xml so support fragment manager and then click on being transaction and then in replace just go with ID of the container just pass the fragment a to it and then once you've done that you need to commit so to see this result just run your app all right guys so as you can see we have set our fragment successfully in our fragment container frame layout in main activity and now once we have done that we need to work on the communication um, logic which is first we need to create an interface so let's do that all right so go to your project and then go to your app and then go to your java and then click on Kotlin file, change this to interface and name your interface to communicator. And by the way, you can name it anything. So in that case, I'll call it communicator. And once we have created the communicator interface, now we need to create a function that will receive a text input. So function pass data, and then I'll call it com. And then this is edit text input and the type of this is string. And so this is it. We do not need to do any operations in this because we will implement this interface and implement this function in main activity. So go to main activity and in here you need to import our communicator interface. So communicator interface and we will have an error because we need to implement the members which is pass data com function and click on OK. All right, so once we have bundle object, we need to call a function that is called put string. So because we are passing a string, we need that and we need to set a key name as we have mentioned in our diagram. So we will call it message and then we will pass the string that has been passed from fragment A. In that case is edit text input. And now you need to replace fragment A with fragment B. So let's do that. So val transaction and then we will refer to this object and then support fragment manager and then being transaction and once you have done that you need to create an instance of fragment b so fragment b equal to fragment b all right so fragment b and then dot arguments and then just pass the bundle object to it and now we need to proceed the transaction and replace fragment a with b so transaction dot replace and then resources dot id and then dot fragment container and then pass fragment b to it and now you need to commit your transaction. So once you have created the interface and implemented that to main activity and you implemented the communicator function and you set the key name for that, you need to actually go to fragment A and send the data to that function and then pass it to fragment B. So in fragment A, just remove this return and then create a view variable. And once you have done that so that we can access to the ID of our components and in the fragment A class, you need to create a private variable with a late initialization variable. We will call it communicator and then the type is communicator. So we are referring to the interface. And in here you need to initialize a communicator and then activity as a type of communicator. And then we need to set an onclick listener on the button that we have in fragment A. And we will refer to it with the view variable that we have. So view dot um, send a btn and then set on click listener to it. And now you can access the function that exists in the communicator interface with this communicator object. So communicator and then pick the function. And all you need to do is to pass a string that you have in the edit text. So view and then message input. 
and then go to the text and convert that to string. And this is it for the fragment. And do not forget to return the view. And now we need to receive the, the data in fragment B. So in fragment B, we will do the same, just remove that, and then we will call it view. And in fragment B class, we need to create a variable for display message. So display message, and then the type of this is string, and then we will set it to empty. So in on create view, you need to initialize that variable. And then the way we retrieve the data that has been passed from fragment A is with the argument object. So argument, and then we need to check if it's not null and then get string. And then we need to identify the key name, which is message. And now once we have the text, all we need to do is to display it. So view dot display message and then dot text and then equal that to display message and return view. So far, this is what we have done. We have an interface. This is where we implemented that in main activity. In the communicator function, the implemented function, we built our logic and we swapped the fragments to fragment B and we set the data to communicator function and then with a key name and pass it to fragment B. So to see the result of this so far, all you need to do to run your app one more time. So in here, we will say hello world and then click on send. As you can see, we have successfully sent the data from fragment A to B and display the text. So guys, this is it. We have done it. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn more on how to build mobile applications, web development and programming tutorials in general, please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything. So happy coding and see you guys in the next video.